Hello and welcome to the 12th video programming a JavaScript chess engine. I have a small apology to make from the last video. I'd made a, a syntax error, I think I'll just scroll a bit to here at the bottom of the function where I had here board underscore rather than game board so it looked like rather than having game board and the reason was is when I first ever programmed this GUI I did it using just completely individual global variables but I changed it uh, in the tutorial code here to have a game board set up like so because I found it easier to read for the tutorial so that might creep in now and again and um, I'm sorry about that anyway I've um, it's corrected in this video and the code should should work okay moral of the story is test the question uh, the functions you've written in the main function before you actually release the code anyway so this video you remember the last video we set up this part of the FEN string, which is the pieces and the empty squares, which was all inside this while loop. Well, now in this video, we're going to do a much simpler part. We're going to set up the side, the casting permission, and the ambassant square. I'll just make some space for this. Scroll up a bit. So the way the while loop worked with the pieces and ranks was we'll end up looking at, at the moment, the space in between. Sorry, not the space. We'll be looking at the W or B or for white or black at the moment in the function. So to set the game side is very very simple. We simply need to say are we pointing at a W or a B and if we're pointing at each one of them using the conditional operator then set the side appropriately. Not very difficult. And now we want to advance two in our uh, advance our FEN CNT indexer two spaces to now point at the castling permission. And the thing about the castling permission is, is if there isn't any castling permission then there would be a dash like this. Otherwise there'll be what a com one of a, a combination of these letters here and I've explained in a pre previous video what these mean. And now we simply need to do, well the way I've done it is to do basically a loop of up to four loops because we can have up to four characters here and in each loop we increment our FEN indexer FEN CNT here and if we ever end up pointing to a space then we break out of the loop otherwise we pass the, the character. So I'll just paste that code in now because it's not particularly tricky like I said this is a lot simpler than the previous video. So here's our loop here where we simply go from naught, one, two, and 3. If we ever have a space we break Otherwise, we set using a bitwise or the appropriate bit for the castling permission. And before we go around to the next loop, we also, of course, increment our index. So I could have, I suppose, put this up here in the loop as well. And the upshot is then that we finish by, look, we'll, we'll be finishing by having our index set now at the space after the castling. So to get the on percent square, we then need to increment it once more. And of course, to keep everything short for the tutorial, the assumption here is that the FEN string that's passed into the function here, or into the program, is a correct string. Otherwise, things will go wrong and there'll be errors, although JavaScript is very, very graceful with its errors. But nevertheless, there's a big assumption here, and usually you'd make the program more robust by actually checking that we're still looking at something in the string with our index here, and that the characters are correct, etc., etc. The next part with the on percent square works in exactly the same way that we use the character code stuff here where we're using the character code at. I've done it in exactly this way. For the on percent square we'll either have a dash as there is on the FEN string there or an E6 or a square in algebraic notation like that. So we simply have to say if we're not looking at a dash then we get the file using the subtraction with the character code and the same with the rank and here there's a plus one. We are assuming that we have a valid square as well of two characters if we don't have a dash. So big assumption, but it's assuming that the pasted in FEN is correct. And then we use our fr to sq, so fire rank to square function here, just to set the on percent square. And that's all there is to it. The last thing we need to do is set the position key using the function we've already looked at, the generate position key. And that's almost it for the FEN setting. The only thing we need to do now is we actually need to set up the piece lists as well. 
But I think before we do that, what we'll do in the next video is we'll actually print the board to the screen, or yes, we'll print the board to the screen having set up an arbitrary FEN. And then the video after that, we'll actually put in inside, I've got here the, well, the app in inverted commas at the moment. We'll make this text box wider and set various FEN strings up just to see that it works. I'm just going to refresh this now and check that there are no JavaScript errors and there aren't any JavaScript errors. Good. Okay then, so that's it for this video and see you in the next one. Thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.